Sorry? When BJP appointed governors were be re removed and you were protesting them, who was being indecent then by protesting? You went to who was being indecent by going to court? Who was being indecent by constantly saying that taking the contrary line? Anyway, KTS Tulsi joins the debate. KTS Tulsi, MJ Akbar's basic argument tonight is there is a reason for removing these governors. We won't go into detail. He says there is a reason we will not wash dirty linen in public. And he says repeatedly that these people are, he is not using the words, but basically he's saying they're all political stooges who have been accommodated by Sonia Gandhi. And which is a right. Which no, is no, a, I didn't use the word stooges, Adnav. No, I use the word. No, it's I my interpretation of what stooges, you said. That's a very, yeah. Ha, it's, that's it's, fine. It's I don't a, want to use such a word. No, no, sure, you're not using such a word. But of course, I mean, there must be a compelling reason, KTS Tulsi, for example, tonight, you are among those people who says, what is the BJP doing? They're ruining the country by removing these seven governors. Almost as if it seems, Mr. Tulsi, that these seven governors go away and Indian democracy will fold up. I mean, that is the most laughable argument, Mr. Tulsi, in a country where lots of people believe the Raj Bhavans are nothing but an exorbitant expense account on the system which we are funding. First of all, we should not have governors. Mm -hmm. Second point is, Mr. Tulsi, thank you for smiling tonight. Yeah. Second point, Mr. Tulsi, <laughs> <laughs> One of the great contributions of Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh has been to appoint a former CBI director as the governor of Nagaland in March last year. Tell me, what kind of services did he render to Tenjanpat? Which, by the way, and the Congress has refused to take part in this debate. What kind of services did a CBI director render to Tenjanpat that he was appointed as the Nagaland governor in March last year? I can't answer that. All that I can say is that the option of not washing dirty linen in public and still being able to uh, remove the governors is just not available with the government because the constitution has been interpreted and the Supreme Court has held that they, this is, the removal of a governor is reviewable, judicially reviewable. So this is not, this is amenable to judicial review. It's not something which they can do and the courts will not look at it. And the court also, Supreme Court says that there must be valid and compelling reasons. And it, it gives three examples of valid and compelling reasons. The first is mental or physical incapacity. The second is that the governor uh, concerned is uh, facing corruption charges. That's complete hypocrisy, Mr. Tulsi. Hypocrisy. It, it, it hypocrisy. In a manner. That's hypocrisy from your side. The Congress is, you are criticizing the BJP now. You take a Congress position. You're not a congressman. But if you're now asking MJ Akbar and Yatin Oza to respect the Supreme Court judgment of 2010, I want to know from you, Mr. Tulsi, why the recommendations of the Sarkaria Commission on Interstate Relations were not implemented. That commission was appointed in 1983. Its findings were revealed in 1988. It specifically spoke about the role of the governor and advised against arbitrary removals and transfers. You kept doing this. You kept doing this. That's the yes. first thing which you did in 2004. What kind of hypocrisy is it today, Mr. No, no, Tulsi, that's coming out I in the course of the argument? Who am I? No, no. No, who, who am I? I am nobody. I didn't mean the you. Question, how, how I, mean, I, I, mean, I mean the Congress, which will be the beneficiary of your argument. I am not saying anything against you, but I am sure Whoever, the Congress party, which has avoided the news, are is applauding, to, applauding they, tonight they, watching you on television. It is, it is unfortunate that the parties did not agree on accepting the recommendations of the Sarkaria Commission which were eminently desirable. And it's unfortunate that despite the fact that there was discussion, no, no healthy conventions were agreed upon and no healthy conventions have developed since then. The all, all that we no. have is how come you want no no how come you are for healthy no how come you support there uh, my question is why do you think the Congress Party wants healthy traditions when it is in the opposition and wants unhealthy practices when it is in power? I just don't get the depth of that argument, is, Mr. Tulsi. It defeats me. Does it defeat it you is, as well? No, no. But even now, you will be able to get the depth of the argument that they want to remove certain governors only because they were aligned to a particular, they were choice of a political party. Yes, they are they saying that. Yes, MJ party. Akbar is saying but that. They, He's not being hypocritical about to, it. Then they want, MJ to Akbar. Appoint, they want to appoint another set of politicians who are aligned to them. Exactly. How does the situation improve? That's the weak point. This was Arna, precisely the that's argument. That's the weak point. Gaurav Bhatia comes back to the Supreme debate. Court. No, no, one second. One second. Arna, yes, Gaurav Bhatia. Okay.
Arnab, uh, I heard from the BJP spokespersons that uh, the BJP has got a huge mandate. Let me just say this, that even a huge mandate would not empower them to act unconstitutionally. And in the past, who did the BJP appoint? Mr. Madanlal Khurana or others that they appointed as governors were also political appointees. And very importantly, Arnab, in 2004, the BJP said three things when the, their appointed governors were removed. One, they said that they should be allowed to complete the term, which today they are not Why allowing. Are you suffering Second, from they short -term said memory political loss? persons can be appointed. Why are you and suffering third, from they said short -term memory that the decision loss? to remove them amounts to constitutional impropriety. No, no, now, God today, up. again, they are committing the same constitutional impropriety and more so when the Supreme Court has already clearly laid down the law which was earlier not there in 2004. I think this is the most important point that they cannot act arbitrarily ignoring the Supreme Court judgment as well as the constitutional provision. No, no, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, you are suffering from short-term memory loss, a classical case of short-term political amnesia. No, you have forgotten what the UPA government said at that point of time. When the four governors were removed by the UPA government in 2004, Shivraj Patil had justified the removal saying, quote, we took precautionary measures. We took precautionary measures when we felt there could be a problem and Atul Kumar Anjan was part of that government. Atul Kumar Anjan at that point of time allowed the removal. He saw that happening before his eyes. Atul Kumar Anjan did not say one word in 2004. He was a picture of silence. So Mr. Anjan, if you felt there was a problem with NDA appointed governors, why should MJ Akbar not have a problem with UPA appointed governors? Tell him tonight, then he will answer you. All right. All right, Mr. Arnav. As I have told you earlier, our position was very clear about the common minimum program and we support Don't hide behind a common minimum we program which didn't get implemented. Day. Listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. We were not worried about the day-to-day -day affairs, what is happening oh, in the really? cabinet and all that. Oh, really? But one point is very crucial. You just no, almost no, one brought the government very, down. No, no, one point is very crucial. Yeah. No, no, one, no, no. no. You sure. know, all right. One one point crystal clear. All right. Today you remove all these poli governors, politically motivated, politically committed to one political party. And Mr. K T S Tulsi's very point is very valid. All right. You bring non-political people as the governor. Really? But Who you do you are want? bringing whom? Who do you, you want? Some tool players and no, no. Sitar players. You are bringing Kalyan Singh. Why are you, you reducing are this to a joke? You are bringing Tripathi. You are bringing Madalla. You are bringing Mr. from Delhi. Let, 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 Mr. Who, let Mr. Akbar take that. Bringing? So that's your real problem. Mr. Akbar. Mr. Very much, very much. Vijay Kumar Malhotra is a political person. Kailas Joshi is a political person. Who you, you are bringing, removing one set of political people by that understanding that they are political allies to a political what are you party what, what, what are you what are you Hansraj Bardwaj one second Mr. Anjan just a minute Hansraj Bardwaj is a sitar player Margaret Margaret Alva is no, an I athlete so. one second Kamla no, Ben Beniwal so. is a no, cultural no. personality no, no. one minute no, no, JB 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 Patnaik is a award winning author Right? All right. A they and and MK Narayanan never served under crime. the pleasure but of the UPA government. That's hypocrisy. No, no. But why? No, no, all right. You, no, no, no. They were the Congress activists. You want ah, to say that the So Congress activists are okay when the left is supporting the Congress party. The BJP is bringing the political people. My point is only. No, no, so who did you so bring, bring in? Some non political people. Ah, no, 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 no. Susashan means what? You asking. Yatin Oza and MJ Akbar to respond to. No, since, since the argument is now political, and I'm happy it's political. No, no, on, on this August I am happy it's political. Post, at least, you at least the veneer. People. No, I'm very inclined towards you. No, no, I'm very happy. Maybe I'm very happy, Mr. Why you Mr. Are Anjan. Political Mr. Mr. Anjan, I'm very happy the debate is political. At least this false veneer of a legal argument around uh -huh. the governor's issue is being taken away. Because otherwise, Gaurav Bhatia would have made it some legal argument. It's political. We, you, we'll remove your people. You remove yes, our it's people. Political. No, let the, let no no let no no see, we have scant UPO regard we have no regard for the supreme court of the country voted, the kerala incident of removal of the nambutiri park government i uh, re referred the question of the sr bomai case i referred 
सहाय was more recent who you removed in 2004 now please don't respond because mj akbar is responding to mj akbar yeah i am a little surprised that he you know uh, our eminent friend from the cpi over. has not uh, may i may i please have the privilege of saying something i am a little surprised that our eminent yeah, yes, friend sir, from continue. cpi has not mentioned dharma has has not mentioned dharma veera in in bengal you must be as vociferous about dharma veera and what he did to united front governments if you really want to go far back into a history yes. which at least the present generation of voters has forgotten but i must also uh, compliment our friend i said he must be very very close to the home minister of india mr rajnath singh Who? because he seems to know all the names of the uh, our friend from cpi he seems to know the, all the names of the people who are going to be appointed governors i don't think the government of india or the yes, home minister of india has announced any names as yet that's a nice way to deflect mj akbar it's a nice nice, nice 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 way to deflect <laughs> no no nice way to deflect but but today no no one second nice way to deflect but but mis, but the one fact is this in the jail no no the fact is this Nazi. if if sheila dikshit today says one fellow is in jail in rachi i can also refer his name uh, just a minute mr ranjan take that as a co backhanded compliment Arna, if today sheila dikshit what second yatinoza please if sheila dikshit says if i am removed i will take the narendra modi government to court then i am asking to all, because you n mass try to remove seven governors if three of them were to go to court yatinoza how embarrassing will it be for the new government How embarrassing will it be for the it new government? Because you know this will not be upheld in a court of law after the 2010 judgment. You know no, that, Yatin Oza. That is your that is your that is your presumption and assumption. Why? Why? Again, you have not read the judgment. We will justify it before the court of law. Out of out of 29 governors appointed by UPA government, only seven are touched. Therefore, we are not acting arbitrarily. We have material. and we will just material it. show me the material no one second and assumption of mr ktsd no no one second what mr. is material Goswami, what material do you have that we have that we have no, what, no material material have? Material have? what material do you have and without any modify what material do you have i i did say what material do you have i did say that it is an august what material do you have of the governor no this is go no no one second public no, no, domain, one, this, public no no this no no mr you know this this is the said. politics of it threat of the bjp the honorable supreme court mr High rosa court, mr rosa this is the politics of threat of the bjp you say we have material against these people and uh, mj akbar says there are very strong reasons we just don't want to wash dirty linen in public gora bhatia this is absolute what exactly i am saying no, the the I message is clear i am calling in line with what mr akbar says No, the the message is clear that you don't go on your own, and we are going to have we have some exp expose against no, you. No, I say the put the expose part. out in public no. domain. The va the worrisome part is this, Arnab, that whether it was the UPA which had political puppets in governor houses, or it's it's been the BJP in the past and now again, if they appoint such persons. how will that person fulfill constitutional obligations that have been 
put upon him by the constitution. The governor is supposed to act fairly and he is the link between the state government and the central government. And all these political Bhatia, appointees you, you, would have their allegiance you, you towards your the party and, and not UP. towards the constitution. First you discharge your constitutional obligations in UP. Uh, Mr. Oja, Every day uh, we, we can have a debate on UP murders, separately. But I think don't, if don't, you don't, would read the judgment of 2010, it, it, it would be clear to you of that without any reason First you cannot ABC of remove a governor. And there I say that you are acting illegally. And, and is it not true that the governor of Gujarat, Ms. Beniwal, was remo is being removed because she has very sharp differences even with Mr. Narendra Modi regarding the appointment of Loka Yukta? The Supreme Court had to intervene Forget to direct the Mr. government Modi. and say that the Loka Forget. Yukta should be appointed. Supreme Why Court has passed. Today he is the Prime Minister of the country. And Supreme if you are Court taking decisions which are unconstitutional, it is well within our right to question Kar. those. Arnab Ji, Why should we not Mr. do that? Arnab Goswami, read the judgment. Supreme Court has passed strictures against her conduct. You read and para that a valid ground to justify. Para forget about para 45, forget Mr. About Oja. And it would forget, be clear to you forget that the about, Supreme Court has uh, said that you cannot remove governors on whims and fancies. This no. is nothing but a political vendetta that you I'm, are doing. Where, where and just I, because the UPA did it, it earlier now does you are not justify your action. Now you are changing the no, no, Mr. From no, no, Mr. Mr. no, 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 what's that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Oza, Mr. Oza, Mr. Oza, as per my information on this document, which by the way is restricted circulation and cannot be googled, what MJ Akbar says, Kamla Ben Veniwal is to retire on the 14th of October 2014, which Mr. Oza, you will be delighted to know, is three months and 25 days away. Please tell me tonight, and I'm wrapping up with this. I think you Why and MJ Akbar continue? both need to tell after, us tonight one. No, 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 no. Let me complete. One minute. No, no. Let me complete. After, let me complete. After the way in which she ran the parallel government. Ah, after so political the way vendetta. She ran the parallel government from Raj Bhavan. Is that an argument? There is no, no vendetta. Is that an argument? Is that an misconduct. Is that an argument? Serious misconduct. Is that an argument? Then put and, it on and, paper. And let it go to court. Serious misconduct. No, Mr. Ag Mr. Akbar. No, no, Mr. Akbar. That is the argument. No, no. If that is the argument, if that is the argument. Put no it on data. paper, take it or take it to conduct. court. If, if it, that is the argument, put it on paper, let it go to court. Let it go to court, Mr. Rosa. Why are you scared that of taking it done. to court? Take it to court. Oh, Arnab, let's not done. forget the Supreme will Court. Will that will be done, you say. You'll take it to court. The governor's decision against the government of Gujarat then. You see, many times, Mr. Arnab, many times Gujarat government on the question of the government of the, Gujar of the Gujarat went to the Supreme Court and they got a befitting reply. I just want to remind one thing. The Prime Minister said yes. on the floor of the House, he Have will take the, the lessons from the elders. Have you read the judgment act. of the Supreme Court no, 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 no. dated 2nd of January yes, yes, 2013? No, no. I, I have no, read the judgment of the Supreme Court. No, no, I just want to say one thing. I just, no, no, listen, just one, one thing. If Prime Minister has said inside the Parliament, he will not take anything and he will not take any political vendetta. I think on the Beniwal question, of Gujarat governor, only two three months are left. The magnanimity has to be like this. All right, Mr. Akbar, you must what reply. You have done, but I think this is a political. This is this is this is a political no, no, vendetta. What Arnab minute. says is correct, and I think. I, I want that's to know what the what is the what people I, will not buy your arguments. That's the point only. There. No, your I, your arguments will not be Mr. Roja. Your arguments will not be bought by the people. They will not be convinced by these arguments. No, no, forget the people. I have simply two questions and MJ Akbar and is... And will the Supreme Court be? No, no, one second. Will it, will it be three Supreme minutes Court. on the debate? I think even the Supreme Court would not be convinced. Three minutes on the debate, put the reasons for Kamala Bell, Mary Waltz and others' removal on paper. Let it therefore be challenged in court if necessary, rather than do it in a cloak and dagger manner. And Mr. Akbar, why hesitate from doing that? And what, what precisely is the grave national threat which Kamala Beniwal poses, which if not removed immediately and three months and 25 days later will seriously affect she the people of Gujarat of and the people of this she is, country? She is in habit of 
Mr. Akbar also possibly will not be knowing there are 100 orders where she has ran parallel government from Raj Bhavan. No, so, but then it's she is instrumental no? in issuing charge sheet to the Vice Chancellor before no, the statutory provision within the constitution. Where yes. powers right. based with like some other statutory authority she has that. exercised. Then put it on paper. She has she has passed 100 orders. Put it on paper. Where no power does not waste with her. What? So no, what? Put it on paper. They, they can always no, no, forget it. about the order 20 of after war. that. Put it on paper then. Let then it, let it be challenged. You can face four and a half years. Between Can't you face three months? Can't you waste three months? KTS Tulsi wanted to come in that and shows your we will close the debate. That KTS shows Tulsi. your attitude. Three hours. KTS Tulsi. Not three hours. Yeah, uh, Arnab, uh, Arnab, I want to say that the kind of statements that have been made in this show by two of the gentlemen against serving governors will now make it obligatory on them to fight for their honor because uh, if they do if they if they meekly resign it will be taken to be an admission so therefore they will have to fight and this is the kind of a statement which ought not to have been made off the by making off mr the akbar remarks. mr akbar will respond at the end of this debate serious charges directly or indirectly put on the integrity and functioning of governors and of there being serious yes, I, reasons for their removal always, should be made public. Arnab, yes. I, Arnab, I, I always knew that Mr. Tulsi was a very good lawyer. Now he has given further evidence of it. And I just like to remind him that they began the fight long, long before we began this show. They didn't have to wait for our mild comments. And as I said, I repeatedly did not say anything specific. And they did not have to wait for our comments to do that. Believe me, what Mr. Oza has said is only a very thin icing on a very, very serious cake. No, so you are making a charge, no, Mr. Mr. Akbar, then I think the charge should be made publicly, not in a closed doors, not in a cloak and dagger manner. We need to know what have the governors done which is so... What is there on their record? Which is the blot on their integrity? Because you see the charges for... the. the I am sure you are aware of the clauses Mr. under which governors Mr. can be removed. Already. Yes? Sure. Of course, and we also and we also know that the president is also a party to all this. But what Mr. Oza has said, I think, is extremely no, convincing. So, no, no. So what you're saying is that what you're saying is that the president of in India is aware. Behavior, but and I really don't want. You're I don't, saying really the president, don't want to say anything more. No, no, but you're saying the president of India is aware not, of the I compelling reasons for the removal of these governors. And we do not governors. want to tarnish. We do not want to tarnish the uh, image of the office of the governor, and we shouldn't. Well, you, I, I, I want, I want, you are saying, therefore, that the president of India, Pranab Mukherjee, is aware of the serious charges or, or the fact that there are some serious cases, which are the compelling reasons no, why the these seven governors are being removed? Of the council. No, no. No, no. President has no say in the matter. President will go by. No, but, but M.J. Akbar just council. said the president is aware. No, no. I he said, said M.J. Akbar said the president is aware. He has to be made aware. But, has but to be. The recommendation yes. of the council. Well, we'll take yes. this discussion. We'll, we'll take absolutely. This, we'll, we'll take this discussion forward. I mean, the uh, by the recommendation, I said that I said that in the very beginning that the president, in the very beginning, opening remarks, I said that the president has to go by the decision of the cabinet. Well, of course, has to go by the decision of the cabinet, but there are there is a there is an implication here that there are some serious charges which are against these governors. Lot of viewers on news are tonight would want to know. Make those public. Make those compelling reasons public. It will only strengthen the institutions it if these, be, Arnab, if these, if these cases be exist. The August Thank office you. that the governor holds. Thank the you. The August office that the governor holds, it can't be made public. Thank, Thank you, Arnab. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me on debate number one on the news hour tonight. This is Times Now, Super Prime Time.